What's up guys? My Chase is here and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I got quad parts and I think I'm gonna um, open it and show y'all what I got. And I don't know, I gotta, I guess I gotta watch my own last quad video um, to see where I left off. And I know I lost a lot of quad videos. <clears throat> I had recorded a lot from my old phone. And then my phone took a crap, and I lost them all. So I have some of it on my camera, and a lot of it on my phone. And so I don't know what all you know. So I'm just going to do a quick rundown of my quad and whatnot, and then try out the new part I got, see how it does, and then maybe convince Jeff to get his out, and see how we, uh, how we match up if I gained any improvement. I'm hoping I got some improvement, but I don't know if I actually did or not. So uh, I'm gonna get my quad out. All right, so recap on the quad. If you haven't watched the other quad videos, go watch them, but here's a quick recap. I don't know what's done to the motor. I think stuff's done to it. I can't, I don't know. Just go watch the other videos. Um, but it does have mods. Uh, it is a full stainless head pipe and muffler, DG. Um, I, it has, I ran a uni pod filter right off the car but didn't run the air box because at first i was running an air box with the uni filter with the lid off and then i started doing more stuff well i super jetted the carb and i got it to run on e85 so now my quad runs on e85 and everyone's gonna be oh my god you run your quad on e85 it's gonna ruin everything well my quad has been on e85 for probably about three months now and not a single thing has happened boom so for everyone that wants to hate on everything um and everyone that hates e85 it works and it's supposed to keep i mean it burns cooler so which helps with an air cooled um higher octane rating so less spark knock and pinging um and for some reason i don't know why um with the carb open no air filter on the carb i know terrible kill me um with the carb open on e85 this thing revs and it makes power and it just does not stop going it just wants to keep going and going and going and it makes 12 horsepower stock Jeff's Mojave makes 18 horsepower stock. His Mojave has been modified. We don't know what's done to the motor, but there is some, something done to the motor. The people rebuilt it. I don't know if they did more compression. I don't know. Either way, it's got like the typical stuff done to the quad. His quad rips. It's probably 22 horsepower. I'm guessing you don't gain much power, but a, a little bit of power on a light machine helps a lot. Either way, um, I'm heavier than him, but my quad's heavier than his. But with me on my quad and him on his quad, I am still probably 50 pounds or so heavier than him on his quad. And with less power. And from first to fourth, I can be right there with him, but his top end just blows me out the water. So I got a lot of acceleration with him and like Nate's 400EX. And I shouldn't. Being a 229cc four-stroke from 1985 it should not be as quick as it is it's a lot quicker than my stock quad sport i had in one of my first quad videos so now that we're recapped on where i'm at with my e85 quad um when i run the pod filter it loses a lot of top end it gains a lot of low end torque it loses a lot of top end and it sputters and breaks up um, i'm thinking too much fuel right and I love the way it rides without the filter. So I've figured, okay, well, what else can I do? You know, I ain't trying to like go through the motor and everything. I'm just trying to do like the little stuff that I can outside of the quad. Um, I did uh, change the gear ratios, the, the chain ratio, the sprockets. There you go. Change the sprockets because um, stock rear sprocket, I believe is 41 tooth. The front is a 12. What I had on it was stock rear and 11 tooth front. And it gave me too much acceleration. I didn't have enough gear for each, enough sprocket for each gear uh, running out of gear way too quick so i went to back up to a stock 12 tooth front and i went down to a 30 39 tooth rear um and that 39 tooth rear versus the 41 stock helped out and the bigger front sprocket helped i got a did o-ring chain uh gold chain for it that i just need to put on uh, i got to remove some links uh, I have some uh, fly racing red handlebars because I don't like the blue. Um, I have new brake pads for the rear because these ones are toast. Um, what else? I think that's it. I run, I'm running these little short dinky wheels and tires. Um, they're a lot lighter, which helps out a lot. They're 2010 9s versus the 
22, 11, I don't know, 22, 12 nines, I think they're, they're really wide, those really meaty rear tires, they're great for off-roading, but they're bad for, like, racing around, and they're really heavy, and actually one of the beads popped off, so I couldn't get the bead popped back on, and I wanted to really ride, so I took these off of the 125, and, um, it's super fun, I can, like, do little brodies and like circles and donuts and burnouts on my concrete with these tires these tires aren't that good but it makes a lot of fun i slide around a lot and it's kind of hard for a big guy in a small quad to have enough power to like slide around you got to really throw the quad but with these tires i can really do it so i'm actually thinking about picking up um a spare set of i'd like to get 10 inch wheels in the rear and then run 20 10 10s maybe i don't know or maybe just stick with nines um yeah i don't know uh, I got a new uh, stator cover coming because this one's just quick steel for now. And this is what I just picked up. Boom. It is a Nibby 32 millimeter slide style um, carb. And uh, mine's, my stock one's 26. So I kind of probably went way overkill on, you know, the size of the carb. But sick. Um, super sick. So I'm hoping that this uh, this helps. Um, I'm, what I'm hoping is um, this carb. Uh, the 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 head's been ported and all that, so it has everything but stock carb. So I'm hoping that with my Bigger jets on this carb with the air filter, I'm hoping that it uh, can rev and rip with the filter on it. I might have to go with the bigger jet for the more air. Um, I gotta see what jets came with it and whatnot. So I'm gonna get working. I'm gonna change the carb over and get the jets all figured out and um, get this taken care of. Look at the size difference. Dude. It's like triple. Oh. The inlet is cool that it's similar size, which means I'm not going to have to deal with a whole lot of crap to get it How to fit on the boot. Jet this? I don't know. i got to figure out the jetting. Um, the jet this, like, quite a couple seconds. Well, see, I'm thinking I was running rich when I had when I ran my air filter with the E85. So I'm hoping that the bigger carb with the air filter will help. Put the 85 sticker in this? i got a <laughs> corn sticker. I should put it. I should put Put them right next flex to the gas fuel. tank. Flex fuel. <laughs> flex fuel. It's not flex fuel, though, but it'd it's be funny. Forced it's it's forced flexed. Forced. Forced the flex. We forced the flex. All right, so I'm gonna work on getting this carb on. All right, here's where we're at. All the jets that came with the Nibby carb. The biggest one is a 132 main. Uh, the jet in my factory carb, I was running a 157.5. So, I don't think the local ATV shop is open right now, Michigan Power Sports. And I don't, so I don't think I can get the jet I need. So, what I'm going to do is that it came with two 128 main jets. So, I am going to take these with me, find a drill bit that fits perfectly in the 157.5. And drill out the 128 and try that and then uh, put the car back together put the carb on because it will fit in the intake boot and then give her a freaking rip so she keeps up with the Mojave? she'll keep up with the Mojave until fourth gear for me which is like third for you like I'm like I'm like first a little bit of wheelie and second like bah, first or no it's like first second and third you're and then, like, like right when I go in the fourth gear, then you're just, then you're just pulling. You got the top end. Like pen point shift you. You're like, you're like slow car versus like decent car. Like you're trying to go as fast as you can. I'm just like. Yeah, your quad makes ten more horsepower than mine's. It well, it makes what? six. What? It makes six or so more. Yeah, but I'm also a lot heavier than you. So you probably eat clock away. Uh, my quad, I remember re looking this up, my quad is 305 pounds, your quad is 376 pounds or something like that. Is that a little bit of a difference? 
I mean, that's a difference on such a small vehicle. I mean, the thing's tiny. 70 pounds? <laughs> 70 pounds? Like, where's your where's your quad gaining 70 pounds at that mine isn't? 70 pounds is a big difference. I mean, maybe frame. Like, you got your cooling system. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, still, 70 pounds is a big difference on something so small. 70 pounds is a difference in a car. A light car, you know? But then you got to think, how much do you weigh? 150? 160 I'm, I'm i'm 280 so that's 120 pounds right there so then you take the 70 off of that that's 50 pounds you know so like i'm 50 pounds heavier than you still and you're and supposed you to make those... stock six horsepower more than me would smaller wheels raise top speed or lower it? lower it. acceleration right the, the shorter tires that help you with acceleration the problem is is your quad makes enough power that you don't need any less of a gear you know how I had to go up in gear? Yeah. Because I was just like, boop, 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 boop. And I was like topped out like at, when you were like, leaving second gear. Yeah. I don't know. Well, uh, once I get the carb on, we'll have to bench race. Not bench race, actually race. We'll do a little dig down the road. And uh, <laughs> see where we're at. I got to go. I got to go to the parts store so I can get this fucker done. All right, hurry up. So I found a few um, a drill bit that fit the 157.5 jet. It fit really close, and I drilled out the 128. The jet's in the carb. I swapped over the top piece, and I'm just worried that I don't know if it's gonna work because it slides in there like so. And this one goes in like this, and then it, it kind of like hangs out in there, as you can see. And so I hope that doesn't fall off. I also change the uh, needle clip I raise the needle up as far as it can go because um, I'm running E85 it, it requires so much more fuel um, I got a big pilot in it I got the big main jet and that controls the idle circuit and the full throttle circuit but the mid range is all with the needle and so I move the needle up as far as it can go so I can allow as much fuel as possible in the mid range it might be a little lean in the mid range, so I'm gonna have to figure that out later down the road. Um, all I did was move the needle up in my old carb and it worked. Um, so I am going to finish hooking up the carb, uh, hook up fuel for it, hook up all the vent tubes, and then I'm going to hopefully stretch it into the carb boot. Um, and it should work. It's stretchy. And I kind of already tried test fitting it and I can feel like I can get it. Um, I'm super excited to see if it does anything. If it doesn't, then like, suck. But if it does, cool. Uh, whatever. I'm excited. I don't see why it wouldn't do anything unless... Well, see, if the carb was, itself was a restriction, then it will do something. But now that I have a bigger carb, i got to slam all that air into the port, which is this, this boot is port-matched to the head. The head is port-matched to the boot. So, it should help. I hope. Because, like, this one right here, if you look at this one, it's, like, oval, you know, in there. Let's see if we can zoom in get it. I can't. Let's see, it's oval. It ain't the, the internal port isn't the same size as the external or the intake boot side, you know. So I'm hoping that with it being like that, it helps with airflow. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what she does. All right, so the throttle cable wouldn't work, <laughs> but I had one laying around. <laughs> um, uh, so I ran the throttle cable, and Jansen and I came up with the spacer to get it to work. Um, the throttle cable is kind of ghetto, but the carb is in, the fuel is hooked up, everything is good, and we're about to start it. And the, my air filter won't fit because the carb is so big, which is good. And I hope this thing works. If not, then more work. Yeah, yeah there's all that seat on there.
Okay, I'm gonna try to run this thing. Not yet. It, I gotta set the idle. But it's working. And uh, I gotta I gotta tune the uh, air fuel screw and then set the idle. And I probably might have to change the pilot out. But I'm probably just gonna go for a full throttle rip and see what she does real quick. All right, so to test uh, the carb versus the new carb versus the old carb, um, I raced Jeff because Jeff and I race a lot. And with the old carb, Jeff and I, like first gear right there, second gear were kind of right there. I'd fall back a little bit. Third gear, I'd probably he'd probably get a quad on me, and then fourth gear, he's a couple quads. Fifth gear, he was just pulling hard. Um, I could hang with him through first and third. Now his quad hasn't changed any. And with the carb on the on my quad, um, first gear we're neck and neck. Second gear actually got out on him about a half a quad. Third gear, all the way through third, we're neck and neck. Fourth gear, he put about a quad on me. And then fifth gear, halfway through my fifth gear is when he just started pulling, because he's just got the top end. Took him to Gapplebee's. <laughs> Took me to Gapplebee's. Um, yeah, the, he's got the his quad just has the top end. He's got top end power and just the gear. Yeah, not even the 400DX, huh? No, because his brakes are dragging. Oh, yeah. Sense. I just don't have to race them. Because <laughs> you already won, so you don't have to race. Yeah. Uh, you should race them. That'd be actually interesting to see, like, a 400DX versus the Kawasaki. We got a compression tester, so we can compression test it. I need to get a socket. Yeah, because the dude rebuilt his quad, like, right before he had gotten it. And uh, he actually had a professional dude rebuild it. New clutch. And... The dude said it was ten and a half to one, and factor is eleven and a half to one. So I don't know what the dude was talking about. He the might have been just said, mistaken. The guy said he lowered compression to make it faster. He was probably mistaken. It's probably more I think compression. Mistaken because the guy that had the quad didn't know anything about quads. He yeah, just it's just his friend his knew all the quad stuff. Yeah. But it's got an exhaust and it's got a filter on it. I mean, it's, the carb I'm guessing is jetted. I mean, it wouldn't run good without the jets with the stuff that's done to it. It runs good. It rips. So. I'm super happy that I'm keeping up with this Mojave, because the Mojave was right there with Nate's 400DX. Dual Cam 250. Like, the Mojave is no slouch, and now I'm getting closer and closer every every step. I I just have to do a lot of stuff to get close to you, which is respectful for a 230 quad sport. I'm really trying to get a Saturn, like a bolt-on Saturn to run against, like a... LT1 Camaro. I feel like a B16 Honda. I have beat V16s. Huh? I've beaten V16s with my Saturn. Okay. I beat a, I beat a GSR Civic with the Saturn. Never mind. Uh, I'd say LT1 Camaro is a good race. Yeah. Uh. You got like the LT1 Camaro, and I have like the twin cam Saturn. <laughs> I'm super happy with the way the carb turned out. I got to do idle. I got to change the pilot, mess with the idle, and tune it some more. But. Well, big difference. Now I can even go with more of a gear. I have the power to go for more of a gear. I'm like I'm topping out fifth gear way quicker than before. Take it uh, be careful. I don't. I don't really trust that throttle cable much. Oh, just hit the kill switch. Yeah, hit the kill switch. Come on, Jeffrey. Is it in neutral? It starts easier in neutral. And you ain't got the kill switch on. You're in gear still. There you go. There you go. I gotta put my plastic back on. I gotta zip tie it. good at wide open but don't know if she's spitting that's why she's spitting
right, so I throw all the quad clips together. We're already at 20 minutes. So I'm going to end this video here pretty quick with this. I think the carb helped. It could be a placebo effect. I doubt it. I've raced Jeff's quad numerous times, and I've always kept up with them in first through fourth, which is keeping up. Now I'm neck and neck. For second gear, I pull out on him. Third gear, I'm right there with him. Fourth gear, he starts to pull. Fifth gear is when he does pull. He's got the top end power. So there's an improvement there. Now, there's other variables. Like Jeff could have been off his game. Doubt it. Jeff's quad could have lost power. Doubt it. Nothing's changed with it. So I'm liking to think that the carb helped. Uh, I have more plans for the uh, quad. I have more stuff that I need to get for it. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. More quad videos and other videos. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications when I upload a video. Share my videos. Let your friends know about the videos. Let whoever know about the videos. Check the description for links to Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I am working on the sticker store right now. And trying to get all that organized with now my lack of time. So, uh, so be patient with the sticker stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm definitely enjoying working on these things. And I can't wait to uh, do more stuff to it. See you later.